Hi everybody, I'm Dylan Artzer. I'm Kirby Ward. And today we are talking about Return, Return to, to the, the Forbidden, Forbidden Planet. Planet. Um, have you ever worked at the Rubicon before? I have. Yeah. I have. I did, uh, I directed She Loves Me. Uh, and then my wife and I did uh, the um, Valley Concert Series. We did that just like last month. Nice. So that's two times. This is my third time. Nice. It's good to be back. Great. I love it here. I'm old friends with, um, with Carolyn. Uh, we go way back. So how far back? Far back, uh, nineteen, hmm, uh, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-two, eighty-three. Nice. We, did a, we did a we did a production of Georgia together. She played my sister. We had a song sung at our wedding, and and they had the same song sung at their wedding. So we share that too. And you're directing Return to the Forbidden Planet. Return to the Forbidden Planet. Yes. How do we like the process so far? Is it going well? Yeah, it's crazy. It's a wacky show. Um, it's uh, it's a challenge because it's it it's not one of those shows where it's all written down on the page for a director. It's kind of uh, there's these kind of uh, unrelated elements that you're putting together. It's it's uh, borrowing from many Shakespearean plays, so it's it's using all, all the Shakespeare dialogue from the Tempest and Romeo and Juliet and Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, and then you're mixing it together with this spoof of B-movies, sci-fi B-movies, uh, like Forbidden, Forbidden Planet. And then uh, uh, we're sticking in a, a songs from the era like Wipeout and the Beach Boys. And, uh, you know, and we're sticking all these things together and they don't really explain in the script how this all goes together. So it's a, we're creating a lot of stuff for this and it's it's fun it's scary <laughs> and it's fun because the freedom to play is is great fun but you know at the end of the day you you have to have something you know presentable <laughs> which is the challenge do you have any favorite parts of the show favorite parts well i love you know we do um uh good vibrations and um it, they're doing the beach boys arrangement so it's really um cool to hear those arrangements come to life in the room uh, that's fun um, and I love the 60s I love the dance style of the 60s you know we were just an hour ago we were teaching uh, people how to go go dance and uh, so that's fun and um, you know it's creating the videos there's a that was really fun I mean uh, and, and, and you are, you are uh, a main component of that. Just a small bit. Just a small bit. Um, but I, uh, one of my passions is uh, filmmaking. I, I, uh, I did a short film a couple of years ago that actually won some film festivals. And, um, and I've always wanted to get back to that. But, but live theater is, is what I've always done. Um, so anytime a show has filmmaking or video making in the, in the process... I eat it up because you get to make a m movie. And so we made this B movie <laughs> that I think looks pretty darn cool. It's more of an A movie. I think we have I think we raised it to A level. <laughs> an A minus movie. <laughs> an A minus movie. <laughs> no, but it looks it looks cool and that's shown at the beginning of the of the story and um, I think that it's going to help tell the story because it really looks great and the actors are great. We had a lot of fun doing it and so that is definitely one of my favorite things, you know. What are you saying to people to get butts in the seats? You are going to have a lot of fun. Um, we are going to encourage people to get out of their seats and dance if they want to. Um, and uh, uh, it's great music, some of the greatest music of the 60s. It's wacky, crazy fun. Uh, a monster attacks the ship. So you gotta you gotta come and see what that's all about. So we hope people get in the spirit of that and and enjoy themselves with with that.